Nigeria's parliamentary structure is modeled after the U.S. Congress. The country runs a two-chamber system called the National Assembly, made up of a lower and upper house. The upper house is the Senate, where 109 senators represent districts across the country. The lower chamber is the House of Representatives. It's made up of 360 elected members. National Assembly members are elected to serve four-year terms. Together, they craft and amend the laws of the country. Nigerians will vote for the National Assembly members on the same day they vote for their president. With media attention focused on presidential and gubernatorial elections, is the world ignoring elections of Nigeria's lawmakers? It, it has that implication in the sense that people do tend to vote for the same party. But um, it's not automatic. And um, while many members of the National Assembly may hope to ride on the coattails of the, um, of the, you know, the main, the executive candidates, candidates for executive office, it would be a mistake for them to think that they don't have any responsibilities or that they don't need to campaign themselves. And as the elections draw closer, the performance of the 7th National Assembly comes under the spotlight. The 7th Assembly, like the assemblies before it, have uh, not performed favorably in the perception of the Nigerian people. I think that on the whole we have to say that they have performed a little bit below expectations. For them to say that they have 40 bills awaiting the president's assent, but we don't know what they've done to um, follow up on that lack of assent because the constitution is quite clear that the president has a certain amount of time within which he has to either assent or the National Assembly can go ahead. Highlights of the National Assembly in the last four years include the amendment of the country's constitution, a move that some say strengthened municipal governments and paved way for the persecution of corrupt state governors previously immune to persecution. However, Nigeria's lawmakers are often criticized for a lack of urgency in passing critical legislation such as the federal budget and the petroleum industry bill. This law, required to drive further investments into Nigeria's oil sector, was stuck in parliament for more than five years. Its speedy review conclusion and submission to the parliament by the committee, although long awaited by industry experts, has been criticized as part of electioneering campaign of the incumbent. The bill now features recommendation of the removal of the president's discretional powers of granting licenses. The National Assembly has also been slow to implement recommendations of a national conference held last year and is labelled as wasteful. Former Central Bank Governor Senusi Lamide Senusi was a high-profile critique of the National Assembly when he stated that lawmakers were allocated a large share of the federal budget. They just don't seem to have been able to get through the, um, the processes. I think there's a lot of distraction. Um, on the part of um, the lawmakers uh, from doing what the public expects them you know, to do as lawmakers. There has been a significant shift in the dominance of the ruling People's Democratic Party in the National Assembly. A wave of defections over the last two years has changed the dynamics of the lower assembly in favor of the main opposition All Progressives Congress. The factors include the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Aminu Tambuwal, who moved from the PDP to the APC. When you are elected on the platform of a party, presumably the party has its manifestos, the party has its you know, um, schedule, of, um, schedule of promises that you give to the people and upon which you are elected. So it, becomes, it now appears like fraud for you to be elected on the platform of that party, on the premises of that party, on the manifest of that party, and then you just get to the house, you just switch sides. The main issue is if you feel, if you don't feel comfortable in a particular party, you can go to another party. Having spent two terms of eight years in the Senate as minority whip, Ganeyu Solomon can offer an informed view of the lawmaker's performance. He says the performance of the seventh Senate is an improvement on that of the preceding sixth assembly. I believe very strongly that um, the seventh assembly is an improvement on the sixth assembly. 
And in, in saying this, you have to look at the challenges prevailing at every situation. The highest or the, 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 the most tasking challenge during the Sixth Assembly was the issue of um, um, transmitting letter of um, vacation and so on, which necessitated the doctrine of necessity. Uh, but in the Seventh Assembly, there are a lot of issues. Well, I do agree that um, it is an improvement in terms of the checks and balances holding the executive branch more to account. Uh, but it is not an improvement in terms of its cost to the Nigerian people. It was a very expensive National Assembly. Uh, I think that the Nigerian people need to get into a debate. And this election season is very important. What kind of legislators do we want? There are conflicting reports about the exact numbers of bills that were passed in the Senate's four-year term. But besides rating them low, these political analysts say, except Nigeria's parliamentarians ignore the current wave of political campaigns sweeping the country ahead of the elections and focus on their actual business of lawmaking, the incoming eight assembly would have too many pending bills to inherit. Chris Kukwola, CNBC Africa.